Drewski McGillicuddy's The Secret Life of Walter Mitty Movie Review. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and today I'm doing my first technical Patreon review because my supervisor Matt let me borrow $20 so that I could get some chicken wings. So I went home and thought, what the hell? Why not go ahead and review The Secret Life of Walter Mitty since he's been telling me to watch it for going on a year now. And also, uh, Oh, yeah, he also said he wouldn't watch my uh, channel until I review this movie. So we're going to go ahead and review The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, starring Ben Stiller, directed by Ben Stiller. It also stars Kristen Wiig and a couple other people, but that's not important because, you know, the main focus is Walter Mitty. And I'm not really a big Ben Stiller fan, to tell you the truth. I don't really like the Meet the Fokker movies. Now, I do like a lot of his uh, character acting, like, Probably my favorite is uh, when he's the guy at Guitar Center in uh, Tenacious D and A Pick of Destiny. Anyway, so Walter Mitty, he's this uh, daydreamer, you know, and he he's never really come out of his shell. He, he, he lives in his daydreams. But uh, it starts out, he's making an eHarmony profile, and he's trying to wink at Kristen Wiig's character, but it's just not working. And he does have a funny back and forth throughout the entire movie with uh, Todd from eHarmony uh, trying to get his uh, profile set up. And that's, you know, one of the one of the highlights of the movie. I mean, there's not really any negatives to this movie, actually. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Uh, but this is definitely my favorite Ben Stiller movie now that I've actually seen it. Um, but like I said, Walter Mitty works for Life Magazine and they're doing a transition where they're going from the magazine to the website and Adam Scott plays one of the executives coming in to downsize and oh my god can Adam Scott play a dick or what like I mean it never fails like this guy is the best at playing a dick since the guy that played Shooter McGavin like honestly can you think anybody that was a bigger dick than Shooter McGavin until Adam Scott came along and Step Brothers but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that some other day but uh Anyway, basically, the movie revolves around Walter Mitty. He's quiet, shy, but his job is, you know, keeping track of the photographs that they use for the covers of the magazine. Now, since they're doing the last cover, this is one of the most important pictures to, you know, go through his, uh, slip through his fingers, so to speak. Um, so he is looking for Sean. It's actually played by Sean Penn who is the photographer, and he's trying to find this picture. So that's what the movie's about. He goes to Greenland, not in Greenland, so then he has to go to Iceland, and he doesn't find him, but, that, I mean, this movie is beautiful. Like, a lot of the shots in this movie are beautiful. I did not know that Ben Stiller was such a good director. But, yeah, basically what the movie's about is him trying to find the, track down this photograph. And uh, the whole time he's... You know, trying to work up the courage to talk to Kristen Wiig's character. I can't believe I didn't write that down, whatever her name is. There was one really funny part in Greenland when he's at the bar and there's a guy singing karaoke that wants him to start singing and they start wrestling around. Kind of reminded me of the elevator scene that I should have brought up with uh, him and Adam Scott fighting over Stretch Armstrong and then his imagination takes over. That was a wild scene. But there's, there's a lot of really wild scenes in this movie just because of the fact that it, it does implicate... Impl, impl, there's a word. You probably know what I'm thinking of. But yeah, it's... His daydreams. Yeah, they're great. I love them. Uh, but yeah, the drunk guy in the helicopter, you know. <laughs> that, that guy was great. And then he jumps from the helicopter onto this boat. But he jumps into the ocean and has to fight off some stuff. So, like, at one point, I'm like thinking okay is he daydreaming this or is this really happening now so it slow, slowly transitions from him daydreaming all the time to stuff really happening so he stops daydreaming so i thought that was pretty cool and uh probably my favorite scene in the movie you had the best song in the movie was when he was skateboarding down the mountain in iceland he ties some rocks to his hands and gets a big longboard trades the stretch armstrong to some kids and he's 
goes for it. Goes down this mountain, but as soon as he gets down there, what well, you know, the volcano erupts. But yeah, so many good parts in this movie. So, and and I never heard anybody talk about this movie when it came out. I mean, I I, I didn't even look at the year, but here it, it came out this year. But until Matt talked about it, I had never heard anybody talk about it. I always I remember seeing the trailer. I've always been addicted to watching trailers. We're moving right along. But anyway, yeah, this movie's just him. Once he finds the picture, Sean won't tell him what it is, and he tells him, "Call it a ghost cat, Walter Mitty," and that's what Matt always says, "Call it a ghost cat, Walter Mitty," but it wasn't a ghost cat, was it? Was it? But I'm not going to tell you what it was. You're going to have to go out and watch this movie for yourself and find out. So my favorite line in the movie, they're at the top of the mountain. And Sean Penn's character is trying to take a picture of the snow leopard. And he says, Beautiful things don't ask for attention. I mean, that's that's a really cool line. That's like something a trailer park girl might get tattooed on her, you know, wrist or under, you know, somewhere in here. I don't know. You know how some trailer park girls are. Uh, if you're a trailer park girl, I mean, no offense at all. But anyway, uh, so that was The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Uh, I don't really want to spoil this one. A lot of adventure. A lot of uh, really beautiful scenery. Um, very, very comedic. Anyway. Oh my God. Anyway, this movie was very beautiful. Well shot. Well lit. Everything about it. Great directing. Ben Stiller. You outdid yourself. This is now my favorite Ben Stiller movie. If I had to put a letter on it, I'd give it an A. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say about a 4.5. But I would definitely say go out and buy it. I mean, it's probably going to be worth watching more than once because it's just a damn entertaining movie. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you've seen it in the comment section below. If you feel like it, if you want to, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And please tell your friends. I'm going to get better as soon as I figure out how to do other things because look you know I've done did some other stuff and some more things that you know I didn't think I could do <laughs> I just can't fucking do this shit I'm glad you did <laughs>